The Geriatrics and Extended Care website is a comprehensive resource for our aging veterans and their families, and secondarily for the VA providers and staff who serve them. The content is primarily designed for those in the VA system, but it is also of value to the larger community. At the end of this tour, we will introduce you to the staff-oriented information on this site, but let's start with the core of what the website offers to our veterans and their families. Our tour will now take you through your guide, the index for the information and tools contained on the website. These services and tools can also be accessed through the left-hand navigation bar. Let's take a look at the range of topics offered. Here you'll see an overview of shared decision making, the decision aids, also known as worksheets, for veterans and caregivers, home and community-based care services, residential settings and nursing homes, well-being, advanced care planning, paying for long-term care, health care for older adults, and locate services and resources. To view any section, just click on the photo or the label right above it. Let's start with the umbrella topic of your guide, Shared Decision Making. Shared decision making is the collaborative process in which veterans set their goals and priorities, assess their needs and resources, and make choices, veteran directed choices. Here you can learn more about shared decision making and access the decision aids, the veteran shared decision making worksheet, and the caregiver self assessment worksheet. These tools are designed as self assessment guides for the veteran and their family. They can be used in a variety of ways to facilitate discussions among the veteran, family, and their healthcare team. There are also short videos that describe shared decision making. Let's return to your guide to view home and community based services. Most veterans want to stay in their own homes and remain independent or age in place as long as possible. Home and community based care services help them do just that. Let's look at home-based primary care as an example. As we move across the tabs, comprehensive information is provided by answering the same five questions for each service. What is it? Am I eligible? What services? How do I decide? And what do others say? At the bottom of each section are three buttons. One returns you to home and community-based services, this one, Tools, takes you to the shared decision-making page with the worksheets, and the Print This Topic button allows you to print information about the particular service you are viewing. For almost all of the services, there is also a short video that describes it. Now we'll return to your guide and take a look at the section on residential settings and nursing homes. Let's look at medical foster homes as an example. The question tabs are the same as they are for the home and community-based services. Again, there's a video about medical foster homes and buttons that link to the veteran and caregiver decision aid worksheets or to print this topic. Veterans and their families need comprehensive information to make informed decisions. Let's take a look at the many guide sections that provide that valuable information. Here is well-being with important topics for older adults such as stay active, find balance, lower stress, and maintain relationships. Click on any topic for additional information, including links to resources in specific communities. Let's take a look at stay active as an example. For each topic, there's information as well as a list of evidence-based programs shown to work for older adults. Now we'll return to your guide to view the section on paying for long-term care. This section covers VA standard medical benefits, Medicare, Medicaid, and personal funds and long-term care insurance. Now back to your guide, and let's review the section on advanced care planning. This section highlights the importance of advanced care planning, including encouraging each veteran to complete an advanced directive, which entails their selection of a healthcare agent, the person the veteran would like to speak on their behalf if they are no longer able to speak for themselves. Under this tab, what is advanced care planning, there are many resources including a handout about advanced care planning, which includes a values worksheet. Under the next tab, what is an advanced directive, there are links to handouts and podcasts. 
Here, under Help Completing a VA Advanced Directive, there is a checklist about what to do with an Advanced Directive, and the last tab, under Other Types of Advanced Care Planning, describes options that veterans who are facing a serious illness might want to consider, as well as links to a booklet and a podcast. The information in the Advanced Care Planning section is of value to everyone, veterans and civilians, regardless of age or health status. Let's return to your guide to see the Locate Services and Resources section with links to websites with resources for veterans and caregivers. And here is the place where you can print information and decision aid worksheets located in your guide. In addition to all that is contained in your guide, the Geriatrics and Extended Care website has valuable information directed to VA staff, such as news about the Office of Geriatrics and Extended Care. There are also overviews of other VA programs that focus on our aging veterans, such as the Geriatric Research Education and Clinical Centers, known as GREX, the Geriatric Scholars Program, and Geriatrics and Extended Care Data and Reports. Thank you for participating in this tour. Remember to use the Geriatrics and Extended Care website. It is a key source of information and tools for veterans, their families, and VA staff.